just as square numbers are the areas of squares, cube numbers are the volumes of cubes. So let me remind you about square numbers. So a square number, you have a height and a width of equal size, let's say 2. A width, height of 2. And the area of that would be 2 times 2, which equals 4, which is a square number. So in the case of a cube, you have a height and a width. Let's draw those on. A height, let's say 2. A width has to be equal for, for it to be a cube of 2. And then a depth, which again, for it to be a cube, has to be equal to the other sides and lengths. So a depth of 2. Let me just emphasize that with a line. So you've got a height here of 2 and then you have a width of 2 and then any of these lines can represent the depth so let's say uh, along here a uh, depth of 2 all being equal to form a cube so we have 2 times 2 times 2 which equals 8 and it also equals 2 cubed and we use that little 3 to represent the three forms of 2 so with a square when it's a little 2 you have 2 times 2 with a cube you need 3 of those so it's 2 times 2 times 2 so let's have another example another cube this time a bigger cube now this cube has a height of Four, a width of four and a depth. I can draw up this up here this time of four. So in this case, it's four times four times four, which equals four cubed. And that's the symbol again, that little three. That also equals sixteen times four, which I believe is sixty-four. So sixty-four is a cubed number as is 8. Now now we begin to see the pattern. Let's draw a little list. So we have 1 times 1 times 1, which is quite a small little cube, maybe used in Lego or something, uh, which is 1 cubed, which equals 1. Then we have, as we saw before, let's change colour to green, 2 times 2 times 2 which equals 2 cubed, which equals 8. And now a new one. We have 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 3 cubed, which equals, let's see, 27. Because 3 times 3 is 9, and then times 9 by 3, and you get 27. Let's do a couple more. So we have this time 4 times 4 times 4, which equals 4 cubed. Let's do 4 cubed, and that equals 64. And then finally we have in grey 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 5 cubed which equals 25 times 5, which is 25, 125. 25 times 5, 25 times 4 is 100, plus 100 plus 25 is 125. So we have here 5 cube numbers, 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. And to reiterate, a cube number is a cube number because all sides of the cube are equal. Just as with a square number, the height and the width are equal. So 2 times 2, 3 times 3. With a cube, it's the height, the width, and the depth. So 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3, or 4 times 4 times 4, etc.